Guy goes for the guillotine. We, we're not able to get the angle. So I, I grab the guy, I lift, I get in. I try to go here, but he steps back. And now it's really hard to get to this side, to the corner over here. So every time I go like this, he falls back a little bit and I can't get it. So I immediately change direction, step behind the knee. Now I block him towards his back sideways. I'm still on a double leg. I don't go to a single leg. Stay on the double because this knee's blocking this one. I want something to block that one. I don't want to do this. He might fall down, but he also might continue to step back. See that? So I want to block it, take him down. Same thing applies. He has the guillotine. Whether arm in or arm out, doesn't matter. Push the leg, get into side control. This could take time to get your arm out. If a guy's holding you tight, like hold a little tight, it can be a little hard to get your arm out. Take your time and put your shoulder pressure. See how I get up here like this? I'm controlling the guy's hip. And I'm gonna just basically drive my shoulder, wedge it open as best I can until he gets a little tired. Sometimes I can use my knee here, like lock. Sometimes I can use my knee and pull my arm out. But be careful of compromising your balance. Don't do something like this and then just be out of balance and get old. So you only do something if it, if it feels like you can get it done. If you can't get it done, be patient. Don't try to rush anything. We've got a great position. So once I do get him tired and I'm, I'm pressuring him here, he lets go, I can get here. I'll shoulder choke him until we get into position here. Okay, so how did we do this double leg? How is it different than the first one? The first one here, and I cut across. But now he steps back and I can't, so I change direction and it flows right in. My knee block's there. That way we're in side control. We're on the correct side. Head on one side, legs on the other. He can't recover guard. Never allow the guard recovery. See my hand on the bottom. Getting myself into position, getting my arm out, driving forward, posting, making sure he can't roll me. Some guys are crazy strong and they'll try to flip you. Post your hand. Get your arm free, underhook the neck, shoulder choke him until we're here. Now we're ready to go on, okay? Let's get a partner, one, two, three. Okay. So here's the, here's the pass we're doing. Um, when we take the guy down, we're gonna get caught in half guard. It's gonna happen at some point. So I have a double leg. And then when you try to go to side control, he has a guillotine. And, and when you try to go, your legs are gonna get caught. So, but at least you're on this side as opposed to the half guard on the other side, like this. If I was over here, this would be really bad. He'll scoot his hip a little bit and he'll throw his leg over. And now you're like, oh, and you tap to the guillotine because we're on the wrong side. So, one more time on the, on the double leg. I go here, right, I block. So I know once this leg passes, I've passed the guard with my right leg. Now my left leg may get caught. I'll try to get it out of the way. I'll do my best. But on the way down, grappling's volatile. It gets crazy, you know? Like you try to do this and then the guy captures you and you're like, all right, I'm okay. Everything's fine. I've got, I've got the top position. I know I'm not gonna get choked with this guillotine. He'll squeeze, but you know, and if he, just think like this, the more he squeezes, the better for you. Cause he's gonna get tired. He's wasting his energy. You know, he's not gonna tap you. Just let him think he's got you. You know, he'll squeeze, let, let him. If it takes 30 seconds, all the better. Once you guys, you know, I'm kind of driving my head up here. I'm working my arm out. Kind of eventually I use my knee. See, I got a great luck. I use my knee right there, pull my arm out, get his neck, shoulder choke him and come up here. Now, once you guys get this kind of position and we lock, sometimes this frame will be in front of your neck. Sometimes you'll be more fortunate and it will be here. If this frame is in front of my neck, I don't want to look at the frame because it'll start to choke you. I turn my head to the left so that way I can have a clear conversation with my class. While he pushes, 
I can still talk to you, okay? Now I'm gonna gather this cross face really good, lock my palm to palm. I like to have my, it's not super critical, but I like to have my right arm palm down. And then once I'm here, I'm driving that shoulder. If you look at how my toes are positioned, look at my toes, my toes are pushing sideways. You know, I'm sideways. Look at my right knee. My right knee's under his hip, okay? So as I'm driving like this, I'm now gonna bring my knee up and position my foot inside. See that? So when you do this, I gotta keep my knee low, close to the mat. Like I go right there and I get it inside. If you make this big mistake, which you probably will when you're starting out, you're gonna get excited and you're really gonna wanna put that foot there and you're gonna go like this. Look, I put it in, but my knee is off the mat too high. He pushes your knee and recovers the full guard and you screwed up, okay? So don't make that mistake. Patience is key, take your time, it's okay. Even if you can't get your foot in, I'm gonna give you some tips on getting your foot in. Um, sometimes his knee is like, say his hips are flat, pulls his knee all the way to my butt, and you just hike your knees to your chest. Yeah, just like that. See how his knee is way up here, up in my butt. It's really hard for me right now to, to, to get my foot. You see that? It's much more difficult. See, especially if his hip is here, I can't get my foot in. And then this is where the beginner makes the mistake. They want, they overdo it, and then he just simply puts you in the guard. Big mistake. So don't, don't panic, don't rush. If his, if his knee is way up in your butt right here, I'm just gonna tilt this way. See how I'm turning sideways? And I'm, as I'm doing this, my right knee's under his, his hip, and, and you notice his legs slide down. Try to keep that knee up in my butt. Yeah. So as I turn sideways like this, I'm bringing my left foot close to his butt. I shake a little. You see how I'm getting his, his leg down? Now my knee hasn't poked through. This is what I mean by knee poking through. I, my knee poking through, that'd be good for me. It hasn't poked through yet, but at least I've slid him down my thigh a little bit. And now once I've slid him down my thigh and I got his hip turned sideways, look at how I bring it to me. I bring it over here, and then now I can get my foot inside while keeping my knee on the mat or close to the mat. If your knee is ever up, it needs to be very close to the mat so that if he pushes on my knee right now, I can drive it down the mat really easy and you can't recover the guard. Okay? Now once I do that, I'm gonna bring this foot close to the butt, as close as I can. And then we're gonna stand up and push his leg down and my legs can go through. You have to make a decision. Am I gonna to go to the mount or am I gonna to go to the side control? Now, if you go to the mount, the big problem is you either, one, you go to the mount too quick and you leave your ankle behind. That's one of them, big pitfall. The other one, I could also leave the other one, like you're, you're going through and then your foot comes off too quick and he goes quarter guard there. The other big one is you're gonna go through to the mount and you're gonna get excited, I got the mount! And he's gonna simply do a really easy trap bridge and roll, and you're gonna get rolled, okay? When you go to the mount. So the way we prevent that or help ourselves to make it easier and better is I'm gonna take my left elbow, look at my left elbow. So while I'm in here, the shoulder choking him. Remember his knee was up in my butt, maybe a little high with the knee. Yeah, I was turning sideways, I was kinda of getting him low. I get my foot inside, now watch my left elbow. Boom, I bring that left elbow out. So his elbow's out, but it gives me a base. This left elbow is a base. I don't want to leave my elbow in. I want to have my elbow out so I have a base. And then now, if, I, if I'm prying myself through and I'm going to the mount, if he checks the bridge and roll right here to the right, I can go through and my elbow will give me a sufficient amount of balance. If you need, say the guy's bridge is kind of insane. You know, you might have to pull it out and post. Notice I'm gathering a, a grapevine hook right here. And then that way I can bring him back and settle him down. And then settle this guy who's going kind of nuts. Balance is number one. We never go to the bottom. Okay, we're not here to go to the bottom. We don't get overzealous. We don't get excited. Everything's patience. Shoulder choking. I'm locked right here. Getting this cross face better. Turning my body sideways. If his knee is up in my butt, 
I'm gonna kind of work him down. I'm kind of driving my toes up. Even my knee right here, I kind of push his hip down a little bit. See, my knee is kind of poking through right here. This is another way of doing it, but you can use this as a, as a start to kind of get him lower. Notice the knee is starting to poke out. That's really good for me, okay? And then once I'm here, I can swivel and get that foot in. Once I get that foot in, it's time to start bringing it. I gotta bring the left foot close, push, push, push. I don't have to go to the mount. I open the elbow so I can. Maybe I'm gonna go to side control. I cut my knee this way. If you hold my ankles, I pull this one through. I cross face him and move his body so he's completely open. I don't want him balled up on his side. Like if you were to ball up this way. Yeah, that would make it hard to get your ankle out. So I cross face him, cross face him, extend him. Then I kick that top leg, get my leg through, and we're here in side control. I also never want him looking this way. I'm gonna have his face looking away. I allowed him right here because I was showing you how he balls up, but that cross face should control him. This is a lot of stuff we're teaching you right now. So we might need to break it into pieces. If you're new at this, take your time. You don't have to rush it. Just do one of the moves. Don't just pick side control or pick them out and just go attack that, okay? As a partner, make it easy. Don't make it hard. You don't have to hike your knees way up here and make it hard for the guy's foot to get to the inner thigh. Just, just open it in the beginning. Let it, let it be easy. Like say his leg is low. I just put my leg like this. This is as simple as jujitsu is. Put your foot here. Pull it out, pull them out. See that? Don't leave your buddy hanging. When you go here, don't, don't, when you start to pull it out, don't do this and leave your other guy hanging. Somebody opens the door for you, okay? We don't want the door to shut on the guy holding the door open. We both hold the door together. This bear trap is about to shut. He's trying to close his legs. Boom, they go through and we get them out, okay? Let's go. One, two, three. Pass the guard. Let's go. That's huge. Just closing the elbow, daddy goes. Facilitates, look, with a clamp. And it doesn't even need to be hard. I don't, daddy's so damn fucking strong. Excuse my language. You guys know that, right? Danny's the strongest guy in the room, pound for pound. This guy's like, this guy's strong. he's half ant, okay? <laughs> Hold right here and you just, just real light, Danny. Just use a little bit of closing. Look at that, okay? Some people go, I gotta get an overhook. Dude, I don't even care, just, just do this. Close. If a guy had a jacket on, I'd be grabbing cloth. But right there, that right there is gonna screw with Nick. Nick's gonna have to post his leg. You know what I'm saying? When, when, when he clamped you. When he clamped you and he starts the bridge and roll, you're gonna have to post. And then now Danny, oh, oh no, no, stop, stop. We didn't have guard replacement. So when you, this was, this was the picture. Start the bridge and roll, when he posts, you just guard replacement, beautiful. And then he goes. And then, Danny, you move your hips the other way, and you're moving. Now you're back into the game. Now Nick's gonna do it again, but this time, he's gonna bring the elbow, elbow. No, no, walk it up, walk it up. Even if you lock, hey, lock, lock, throw your elbow up, yes! See this? The elbow's up. Now when he brings the leg through, he's dropping the knee, and I love it. Look at the picture of the hips. Can you leave your feet where they were? But look at the hip picture. The knee is here, this hip joint is opening. It's not closed like it was earlier. Do you remember how it looked like that? Yeah. When his elbow is here? Look at this hip angle. I know that guy's gonna get rolled. If he doesn't get rolled, he's gonna base wide and then the bottom hand will recover guard. But if our hips are like this, if this opens and the hip angle's there, this guy's got no hope of rolling us and he's not gonna expose us most likely unless he has incredible leg work and we make some mistakes. But now, as you flop through the mount, look at how easy it is. Bridge, 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 Danny, bridge. Don't close your elbow. Bring it up higher. Walk it, walk it. Walk your hands, unlock your hands. Unlock your hands, walk it, yes. Guys, never, when your elbow's up here, never let it come back down. When it goes here, I'm not. Your lock is to facilitate the movement of passing. Once you start to go to the pass, unlock and, and post the left hand. We're all about base. Isn't that a song? I'm all about that bass. Isn't that a song? No? <laughs> I'm all about that bass? Or is it all about that cake? What is it? All right. Anyway, hope you guys got something out of that. All right? Yes, sir. Let's get some rolling in. Let's go. One, two, three. I'm all about that bass.
Is that really a song?